We're also working developing news in a frightening case we've been tracking since last week. This afternoon, the man accused of taking a 13-year-old Portsmouth girl across state lines, prompting a rare Amber Alert, faced a judge for the very first time right here in Rhode Island. Eyewitness News reporter Sean Daly joins us now live outside of federal court in Providence with the developing details. A New Jersey man is still locked up tonight after a hearing at federal court in Providence on a deeply disturbing crime involving a young Portsmouth girl. It was a terrifying 16 or so hours for a 13-year-old Portsmouth girl and her family and friends. After the girl's mother ran an errand around 9 a.m. last Wednesday, a landscaper saw the girl leave her home with an unidentified man. The landscaper luckily described the car, which led to the capture in New Jersey of 27-year-old Daniel Berger on a charge of transportation of a minor with intent to engage in criminal sexual activity. It also led to the safe return of the young girl who answered the door at Daniel Berger's apartment when the FBI showed up yelling, please help me. An FBI affidavit obtained by Eyewitness News reveals that Daniel Berger had communicated with the young girl by both text messages and online chats. What is your client's state of mind right now? He's uh, in a fragile state of mind and he's, he's been through a, a, an awful lot, as you could imagine. Of his own doing or of someone else's doing? With the government's charging him with the crime, and I mean, he's not held uh, of his own doing. So, yeah, he's in a very fragile state of mind. The FBI affidavit suggests additional charges. Might there be additional charges? We really cannot comment at all, Sean, on the case. It's a pending matter, and pursuant to DOJ policy, we're not permitted to, to comment. But we spoke with an FBI agent who tells us additional charges are very much possible. We'll play his thoughts new at 6. Live at Federal Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.